All right, guys, welcome to a screencast about how to solve polynomial equations using the graphing calculator. Now, I've shown you how to do this in class, but I wanted to put a video together for you. So the polynomial we're going to be looking at is x cubed plus 5 equals 4x squared plus x. So I'm going to go ahead and type that in, x cubed plus 5. And we're going to set that equal to the right side of the polynomial, 4x squared plus x. So a couple things, if you have the newer calculator, make sure that when you do the exponent that you cursor back towards the bottom or else you're going to just put everything up in the exponent. So this actually automatically adjusted. So we're, what we're going to solve is the polynomial x cubed plus 5 uh, equals 4x squared plus x. And so I'm going to hit zoom, uh, zoom 6 on here uh, for zoom standard. So you're going to see this window and here's the first function. There's our cubic, and then here comes the parabola, the quadratic, the, the, the y2 graph in red. And it looks like there's two solutions here. Uh, but with the cubic, there's actually going to be three. So I'm going to show you how we, we, we calculate these, and I'm going to show you that we're going to have to move way up here to see that final zero. So what you want to do is I'm going to go ahead and, and zoom in. Uh, and I just do this because it's easier for me to work along my graph. So I'm going to hit 2, zoom in, and... I'm going to zoom in to right about here. Hopefully I get both those zeros in my window. So now I've zoomed in, and you'll see the here's the cubic. And we are going to look at, there's one zero, or excuse me, one solution, not zero, and then there's a second one. So how do we solve that? Well, we're going to use the calc feature in blue. So we actually have to hit second trace and look for the intersect, which is number five. So we're going to hit on five. And we can do either one of these first, but first I have to go along my first curve and pick a point really close to the intersection point. And then I have to also do that on my second curve. Okay, and I go ahead and do that. And then finally the calculator is going to ask me for a guess. And so what I'm going to find out here is that my first solution is negative 1.09. That's my x solution. doesn't matter what y is. The, the, the solution is going to be the x values, what x equals. So x equals negative 1.09. Now to get the second one, I have to, second solution, I have to hit second trace again. And 5 for the intersect. And I'll go ahead and, and scoot over to the second zero. Now this is a cubic, so at most there's going to be three zeros for this cubic, and I can see two of them, but I think there's going to be something happening with the third zero. So I'm going to hit on the first one there, second curve it's going to ask me, I'll go right about there, and now I'll guess. So now the second solution is x equals 1.16. Now, I think they're, the graphs are going to intertwine and go one more, so I'm going to change my window here. I'm going to go to the window, and my y max, I'm going to change to about 70. But I can't go by 1s. Okay, I could try to go by 5s and see what that looks like. y scale to 5, then we'll go back to graph and see what that looks like. So there's the bottom of the function. There's that cubic, and we should see one more time that they intersect and it looks like it's right there so I haven't actually hit that zero I don't think so let's just check that zero out um, and we can zoom if you want to go zoom standard here again we can do zoom standard just to, to show that that wasn't the second zero okay and these are by fives again we're looking at 70 is our max okay and let me see if that windows okay Oh, it looks like it didn't change. Let's go to the 70 again. Let's try it out because I want that to be 70. And let's go by let's go by 10s this time. See if that works. I want to see that intersection point. There we go. Now it's got that. So there's our first function. And over here somewhere, I bet you we're going to see that third intersection point, maybe right here. That well, was pretty close. So right about there. So let's go to second calc, 5 for intersect, and let's see where these points intersect, and it looks like right there, I guess. There's first curve, I'm going to go second curve, that's about his guess, and I'll hit that again, and it looks like it double clicked for me already. The intersection is 3.93. So our three zeros, you guys, are x equals negative 1.09, x equals 1.16, and x equals 3.93. So those are the x values 
uh, where these two functions intersect. And that's how we find zeros uh, solving polynomial equations using the graphing calculator. If you guys have any questions or comments about this, you can go ahead and email me. And we'll see you next time.